All right, all right, all right. Welcome to another video. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And my nose. Ugh. Guess where I just came back from? Leave it down in the comments down below. Yeah. So I just came back from the gym, you know, looking a little scruffy, you know, haven't taken a shower yet. But, you know, I had to make this quick video because, you know, it's been a minute and I need to make a video. And also, I need to figure out my audio. If anyone knows anything about audio, let me know. This is supposed to be an amazing audio setup. And yeah, my audio is sounding like it's it didn't sound the greatest in the last video. So I got to figure that out. But I want to make this quick video because I think it's something that's super important. I think I make this video like every week or every I think it's always the same theme. Uh, but this one's actually the effects of, you know, wanting to do something and the compounding effects of wanting to do that thing and how what it entails. Right. So, you know, for the last couple of weeks, I've been talking about what will happen when you start, you know, struggles that you may go through, um, obstacles and things that you'll find. And this is something the more explain, like go further into that. So I want to talk about more like compounding, right? So I'm actually reading a book called Atomic Habits. That's another book I'm currently reading. Uh, and basically what that entails, one of the chapters is about like improving 1%, right? And it kind of goes to the concept of an ice cube, right? So you, you take the ice cube, put it in there, and then you increase the like the temperature, right? 21, 22, 23, 24. And I think it's after like 32 where you start to see it like just change. And that's when it starts to get effect. But before that, it just kept, it did nothing happen, right? And same thing for this, okay? I'm going to give an example for myself, okay? I am, I'll give an example. Actually, I'll, I'll, give, I'll, give a, I'll give a better example here, okay? Give a, we could give a little better example. E-commerce, okay? I've been doing e-commerce for a while, right? And when I first, first did e-commerce, man, that was, that was an L, man. <laughs> that, was, that was terrible at e-com. Like, I was, actually, I wasn't terrible. I just didn't pay attention to detail. And as I started to grow the skill, I started to understand it. I found my system, things that work and stuff like that, right? Now, another current example that I'm going through is my personal training journey, right? So obviously now I work at a gym, you know, I'm enjoying it so far, but I'm reaching some obstacles at the moment. And those obstacles can kind of put me down a little bit. But one thing I am noticing is as the weeks are going by, I'm getting better, right? I'm noticing that them. Sometimes you don't, you don't even realize that you're getting better. Sometimes you just have to take that step back and notice where you came from a week before, right? And the same thing was with everything, right? You may go to the gym for 30 days. You say, I have a 30 day challenge, right? And then you say, oh, I don't see the results that I really wanted to see, right? That's, you know, it's more of a long-term thing with all these things, right? You want to take things a day at a time. That's, I always say this now, like when people ask me, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm taking things a day at a time because today is the present. Today is now. Today is when you can do whatever it is you please, right? Today is today, right? So the decisions that you make today will affect the, the like basically everything that happens tomorrow. So if I decide to go to the gym today and I start to work out, you know, I do my workout and that's going to affect me tomorrow because that means, you know, I took care of my body, you know, I'm going to obviously feel the effects of it. My, obviously if you're working out, you know, you're doing some resistance training, obviously you're going to have some muscle tear. So obviously the muscle is going to recover and that's going to enable you to either lift more or whatever it may be, or have some growth in your muscle size. Right? So that is another thing. So I guess what I'm trying to get at here is whatever you're currently doing, you know, whether you're studying, whether you're working, whether you're trying to grow a new skill, maybe um, I can't speak too much on this because I'm not in this world. But if you're in a relationship, if you're married, um, things at the start, nothing is easy. Nothing is nothing comes easy. Right. Uh, you know, like again, I always fitness fitness. When you first start to work out, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know your form. You don't know this. You don't know that. Right. And then as you start to go more and more and more, right, obviously you're going to make mistakes. You're going to get injured a few times, maybe. Maybe you're going to realize that you're not growing as fast. Maybe you're not growing at all. So, But as you start to grow, you start to educate yourself. You start to learn. And that's where you need to educate. Keep learning. Keep growing, right? Obviously in your career, right? When you get to a certain point in your career, you feel like, oh, I, I know what I'm doing. Then you want to educate yourself more and more and more. There's nobody out here that you see that are at the elite or whatever you may see, that's not learning, okay? Even the top athletes, the top tier athletes, they're always adjusting their game. They're always adjusting whatever it is that they're doing. They're always adjusting. So as human beings, 
we always have to be in this growth mode, right? We always have to be growing. And then at some point when you start to realize, oh, wow, this is really cool. I, I achieved this goal. You know, appreciate it. Appreciate that moment. And, you know, settle in for a little bit, you know, learn and then try to like, you know, then at some point you're going to grow and you can kind of like learn something new. And at the same time, too, you can educate people who are also in your in your space. Right. For me, I want to be a, a, like a, an elite trainer. So that way I can educate myself more so I can help other people. And then I can also help other future trainers as well. So that's something I'm definitely looking into. But again, it's this compounding thing. And it doesn't happen in one day. It doesn't happen in 30 days, maybe not even a year. It, it takes a while. But at some point, it's going to click, right? I, that was a terrible click. But I was, that was terrible. Like, there you go. It's going to click at some point. And that's what happened for me, like with e-commerce or whatever it may be, right? Like, so there's things that didn't click for me, right? Even YouTube, right? There's things that didn't click. But at some point, there's like now I enjoy the videos that I make, right? They don't feel they feel effortless. Obviously, time is like a big thing, but they feel effortless. I can make these videos like if I had all day long, like not doing anything, I would make videos. Okay. But yeah, that's kind of all I want to talk about today. You know, the compounding thing. And another example I'm going to give, uh, and this is actually a good example as well is, uh, for those of you who are struggling to pray. Okay. If you're Muslim, uh, keep watching. If you're not, and you don't really want to listen to this, that's fine. I, I totally understand. Um, but definitely subscribe. Uh, but the Muslims who, or not just Muslims, anyone, okay? Anyone who's struggling to pray at the moment, right? Okay? So I'll give an example. Muslims pray five times a day, okay? If you're struggling to pray at all, like you don't pray at all, okay? Start with one prayer, okay? Start with one prayer. It could be Fajr, it could be, it could be you know, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, whatever it may be. Start with one prayer, okay? And consistently pray that one prayer, okay? Then at some point when you feel like, oh, I'm really comfortable with that, do that second prayer, okay? Two times out, right? Then when you feel comfortable, three prayers, okay? When you feel more comfortable, four prayers, okay? When you feel more comfortable, five prayers. Congratulations, you're praying five times a day consistently, and yeah. And don't forget to make dua for me. That's another thing, okay? So that is another thing I will say as well. Uh, this little video is going a little too long. I want to make these videos under 10 minutes, but yeah, okay? And then if you are praying five times a day, I'm going to challenge myself too. Let's do some more sunnah prayers, more nafil prayers, okay? That's it for me. Like, subscribe. I'm going to talk to you guys in a future video. Don't forget to stay authentic. Peace.